The other part of the video is that basically my act when I get a bar or a stage or something to perform permanently, it'll be consisting of four parts. In between each of the first three of the four parts, there will be interval sessions. And we will be playing a game when you're in the audience, which is based on another game called Name That Celebrity. I think you will all get or anyway. So you all probably know that game. Well, I've decided to put my own drag twist on it, and it's called Name That Drag. Now, that is subject to the laws of copyright, that name. So, that's the other part. Of course, basically, I will show each member, I will split the audience into two teams. They have five minutes to identify the image of, the dra of a drag persona they are shown. The drag persona, there are, eight of, there are 18 of them. 17 of us are drag king, drag queens, even. <laughs> One of us is a drag king. Now, as I said, 17 of us are drag queens. One is a drag king. So I won't tell you any of their names. But obviously I will know who they all are when I show them to the members of the audience. Now, the teams will get, for each correctly individually get, to, well, for each correctly guessed drag persona, they will get one point only. And as the rounds go on and on and so on, so hopefully, and they only go, there should only be three rounds, but if there is not, if, if for some reason, what for whatever reason, the teams have got um, some sort of tie, well, uh, double point, the same amount of points, well, in the UK, we call that even Stevens. That means we have a tiebreaker round. So at the end of my fourth act, the end part of my, at the end of my fourth act, we'll do a tiebreaker round, and I will give the teams. If I haven't used all the images of the drag queen queen personas, then basically they will have six minutes to identify six different drag personas correctly. So it's a point for each one correctly identified. Remember, so that could be six points. So if you've done. If you've got three points already from the first round, your team, then your team could very well end up with nine points by round four if we have to have the tie bigger round. So that's how we'll decide if the points are the tied or the same. That's how we decide which out of the both audience member teams gets the most points. You don't get a prize, but that's just me. Haven't got the monetary reef, the funds, the monetary funds at the moment. To do to get prizes for those teams, so you know, <laughs> maybe something in the future, but we'll see how the game works out. But I'd also, from uh, 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 the video to do uh, that, I said hooray for six subscribers previously. I would like to meet some of my subscribers, in fact, all 10 of you would be excellent. And if I'm meeting all of you, I would also like to um, perhaps try name the drag, name the drag. Try the game, name the drag out with you, see how well it works. I have tried it personally as a little run through, and it seems to work all right, but that's but that is a personal run through. But you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We ha so, yes, uh, if I could see how it goes, that would also be wonderful. But again, it all depends on whether or not you subscribers, ten, all 10 of you, are willing to come in person and have a little day out with me. <laughs> And have a good video with me, either interviewing me, or of course, uh, just have it, just having a hanging around with me whilst I am in drag. So, there you have it. A little bit of an update of what I'm hoping to do, and if I ever end up doing presenting at a gay pride in drag, what I would also I would oh I might just do that game as well. So we'll see how it goes. You know, how the future goes of being it. Now, the professional proper names for both drag kings and kings, actually, I didn't tell you what the other videos is, this. I am a female, I am, professionally speaking, I am a female impersonator. And a drag king profession is called a male impersonator. So, yes, it's, um, it's uh, quite a, you know, so, yes, that's the career's path that I'm heading down, or at least attempting to head down. And, um, well... <laughs> I just hope that I get to meet some of my 
all 10 of my lovely subscribers. And of course, perhaps occasionally play the game with them and see how they feel about talking to someone and being in a video with a drag queen. <laughs> and I can tell you that will be fun. There is a dream I will have, but I won't say about it now, because that its name will also have to be subject to the laws of copyright, but I would like to start a special... Well, I may have said this before, but... Um, I may not have done, but I would like to... I, there, as far as I can tell, there is not a specific school or place you can go... <clears throat> excuse me. To learn how to be a drag king or drag queen. For some reason, there just is not... There is nowhere in the world you can go and learn how to be a drag king or queen. And that's rather sad in a way. But I think, personally, I feel that there ought to be. So I'm going to write to all the other 17 drag personas I've told you about in the, uh, re, uh, uh, via the game. I haven't told you any of their names. But I'm going to find a way of contacting each and every one of them and asking if they can help and see what they think about there being perhaps some sort of school of how to, you know, a sort of school, a, teach, a teaching, a teaching centre for new drag king and queen, you know, um, gen the next generation of drag king and queens. Because as, you know, as we get older and <laughs> drag kings or queens, our bodies, obviously, as, you, as everybody knows, you get older and as you get older, health deteriorates and so on and so forth. And eventually you get to a point where your body just says, oh, well, that's it, I've had enough. Or even if you're not very ill, your, your body just says, oh, well, this is it. I've had enough of life now, so let's bye-bye. Let's go, let's leave life. <laughs> so, you know, and obviously, as that happens, obviously, drag kings and queens. So, yes, generations have to, you know, so generations have, of things have to be replaced as such. Certainly never taken over. But yes, each and every generation, there should be, there should be molded by now, ideally, in an ideal world. There would have been multitudes of generations of drag kings and queens, obviously. <laughs> obviously, that isn't the case. So we have to accept that, you know, but hopefully one day, with my little vision, there will be somewhere where I might be instructing and teaching. And, and, um... And, um perhaps even running the place, but I don't want to run it straight away, of course. Um, but yes, you know, certainly, um, somewhere that, you know, people can, people who want to be a drag king or a drag queen, they can come and learn from someone who does it, who's done it professionally, who does it professionally. <laughs> uh, whether for a gay bar or gay pride or on the television or whatever, has gone international with their tour, you know, their, their persona and everything, and so on and so forth. But, you know, they, they have the help. And they can learn different uh, things about the acts and so on, and dresses and all, you know, costumes and all sorts of things. And, you know, so, yes. <laughs> so that really, really, really would really, really be with that. Now, that's an ideal world. So, yes, but it's not an ideal world, of course. And in a way... That is exactly why I want to start a sort of education centre of how to be a drag king or queen. So, you know, I have big visions for it and everything, and big plans, etc., so on and so forth. But I won't reveal too much about it, because it is my dream, and I'm still not going to reveal too much about it either. Because, obviously, I can't because, well, none of you who subscribe to me yet are either drag kings or queens. That I, well... Maybe some of you I know who have subscribed to my channel. Some of you are straight, some of you are gay. <laughs> and if there are children watching this one, your parents will have to explain what straight and gay is to you, because I'm not going to explain it on my video. Nope, absolutely not. Point blankly refuse, but then I'm a lady, so I'm rather clean. and I'm not a teacher, I'm not a parent at the moment. Could be, a, well, I'm a grandmother, but my grandson already knows about these things. So, yes, I don't need to explain it on a video. So, there we are. But anyway, mustache, my darling dears. I'm getting a bit too warm and, you know, whew, I might think I might be having a hot flash. Whew. 
And if I'm having one of those, I think I better stop doing this video. Ooh, because I'm getting puffed out and everything. And I am 91, don't forget. I'm over my 90s, so I shouldn't be even dream... Well, I shouldn't even, as far as my... If my doctors knew I was doing this, <laughs> they'd probably tell the silly old lady that she shouldn't be doing it. Now, so, I will say goodbye, my darling dears. Good night. Love you all, my darling dears.